This is another edition of Teams Agenda this week, a special report that focuses on the activities and achievements of the Teams Agenda of Lagos State Governor. A major priority of any government in the world is to protect the lives and property of its citizens within or outside the country, including keeping the society intact and in peace. States as subnationals are not also left out given that the state governor is the chief security officer of such a state. With a population of over 20 million people, Lagos, like any other major cities in the world, requires a serene environment, peaceful for residents to live in without fear, as well as to be able to attract investment, both local and foreign. In today's special report on Teams Agenda this week, Zainab Adebeshi of our News and Current Affairs Department examines the security intervention of the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawolu in line with Teams Agenda. Over the years, Lagos State has remained one of the most peaceful geographical locations in Nigeria, their preferred destination for international businesses with an ever-growing population. Having the notion that there can be no meaningful development and progress without security, upon assumption of office, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwulu set machinery in motion to ensure a safe and secure environment for the prosperity of residents. The Sanwulu administration, through the Lagos State Security Trust Fund established in 2007 by law of the Lagos State House of Assembly, has continued to provide interventions for operational capacity, training and logistics for the police and all security agencies operating in the state. Governor Sanwulu highlighted and showed his commitment towards strengthening the security architecture of the state through improved welfare for security personnel, deeper collaborations, provision of infrastructure and equipment, and conducive environment where every citizen of the state will go about their lawful duties, businesses, without fear and favor. The present administration exhibited this in line with its six-point team's developmental agenda, which the letter S stands for security and good governance. The benefits of a safe and secured environment are enormous. Security, no doubt, is key in building confidence in residents and restoring their hopes. It also attracts investment and ensures ease of doing business in the society. Governor Mabajide Sanwolu's team's agenda has made security a key item in policy making to equip and strengthen security agencies in the state, thereby enabling citizens to flourish socially and economically and also get proper justice. The governor, as a point of duty as the chief security officer of the state, constantly rubs mind with top officers of all the security agencies in the state, presiding over the state security council meeting. This is part of efforts to ensure that security agencies remain efficient and selfless in the discharge of their duties to tackle some societal ills such as drug abuse, cultism, robbery, and disobedience to law and order. Faced with the daunting challenge of security in the aftermath of the NSAS protest, Governor Mabajide Sonwolu paid a visit to the Lagos Police Command to commiserate with the police over the loss of colleagues and property to the incident and to boost their confidence, which rating government support for them. Residents will want to shun criminality and lawlessness, and no one should be found on the other side of the law. Recently, at the 16th annual town hall meeting with the governor on security, Governor Sawolu said the Lagos State government security policy is driven by the need for a wholly secure environment that enables the well being and prosperity and fulfillment of all the people of Lagos State. The governor believes that security is everybody's business and should not be left alone for the government in joining individuals and corporate organizations to join hands and donate to the fund. Our pledge as a government is that we will continue to listen and to engage and we'll also allow you to hear your views, opinions, so that we can have better shapes of policies and programs of government. Let me say that the approach that we have conducted on security in the state is an holistic one. The concept of human security that places a premium on guaranteeing that citizens have access to healthcare, to education, to food security, to financial enhancement opportunity, to shelter, to ensuring that the development of a total being of capable is capable of being rich, its fullest potential. All of these things we believe can only be sustained and be kept under a very safe and secure environment. Amid numerous interventions, the LSSTF provided funds for training and retraining of security officers, provides operational vehicles, armored personal carriers, crime fighting equipment and logistics, including thousands of motorbikes, patrol vehicles, helicopters, gun boats, ballistic helmets, bulletproof vests, raincoats boots, among others, which has helped to significantly reduce the crime rate in the state. 
to boost the morale and self-esteem of security agencies operating in the state, the Rapid Response Code is a model police information of the Lagos State Police Command, charged to respond speedily to emergencies within Lagos Metropolis, which is aided by Olayinka Egbeyemi. The squad is largely equipped by the Lagos State Security Trust Fund through the donations and contributions from the Lagos State government, public and private organizations, including well-meaning individuals. The LSSTF has remained responsible for the operational capacity by providing and maintaining equipment such as motorbikes, patrol vehicles, gunboats, ballistic helmets, bulletproof vests, raincoats, boots, and logistics to enable them significantly reduce the crime rates in the state and achieve their objectives. The operatives of the Rapid Response Corps in ensuring that civil unrest do not result to violence swiftly step to restore orderliness in Ijumota, Mero, and ULT crisis, called clashes in Dokpemu and Agege, Janike communal clash, motorbikes riders conflict, among others. Another section of the police command in Lagos is the Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Enforcement Agency, Tax Force, established by the Environmental Sanitation Edict 1991 to address the problems of poor sanitary conditions and indiscriminate slum settlements and shanties in Lagos State. The Tax Force, aided by Chief Superintendent of Police, Shola Jejelui, is determined to completely stamp out crime in the state and restore sanity and orderliness on the roads and environment. The Tax Force recently paraded some suspects arrested in different parts of the state for committing crimes ranging from fraud to vandalism. Also, through the agency's professionalism and application of tactical dynamism, the neutralization and activities of land grabbers in Lekki and other parts of the state was also achieved while expanding its track net to apprehend suspected cable vendors who have been on the radar of the agency for quite a while along Obafemi Ulowo Road, where they had excavated armored cables of over 200 meters cut to smaller pieces. Following the restriction of operations of motorcycle riders popularly called Okada, the state commissioner of police, Abiodun Alabi, said 8,000 105 motorcycles were impounded for plying restricted roads, while 5,911 vehicles were contravened for committing on BLT corridor. At the just concluded 2022 annual security town hall meeting with the governor, the commissioner of police appreciated Governor Sawulu and the people of Lagos State for their continuous and unflinching support, which has contributed immensely to the success of the command. Alabi said with all hands on deck and the implementation of various proactive and intelligence-driven crime prevention strategies, incidents permitting the city such as murder, such as murder, and robbery, kidnapping, rape, cultism, defilement, cyber crimes, terrorism, fraud, carjacking, and targeted attacks on government facilities by aggrieved groups have been brought to the barest minimum. In complementing efforts of the various police divisions and various areas of the state in crime fighting, the present administration's speedy response to emergencies and distress calls from Lagos State, which have assisted in the maintenance of order and saving lives and property, has remained the foremost attainment of the squad. Given the enormous support being received constantly by the police in Lagos, the Commissioner of Police in Lagos, Abiodun Labi, has reiterated that the state is no hiding place for criminals. It is in the same vein that Governor Sawulu emphasized the need for more corporate organizations to frequently contribute their quota to the improvement of security, saying his administration is willing to advocate for support from the private sector and work closely with well-meaning individuals to ensure that the state is safe and conducive for people and businesses to thrive. The government is in this forum to thank and appreciate the government and the people of the United States for their continuous and official support, which has contributed immensely to the success achieved so far. And I still want to implore the Russians to please be not by them and for them to support us. Re-evaluating security agencies operating in the state is a task which the present administration has vowed to pursue and to further enhance the activities, technology-based solutions will be adopted to fortify the state's security architecture. Executive Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of Lagos State Security Trust Fund, Abdul Razak Balugu, noted that in the last three years, the country has witnessed incidents such as bomb explosion on a train, hundreds of terrorists invading a Nigerian prison and freeing their members, destruction of 80 royalty buses totaling 3.9 billion naira, over 27 buildings and other assets within 48 hours in Lagos and other iconic buildings were attacked. Balogo said the fund has continued to intervene in providing critical support to almost all security agencies operating in Lagos State at one time or the other. He said that at the end of every year's town hall meeting on security with the governor, the fund has continued to remain relevant in the provision of operational capacity to security agencies like the Correctional Service, Immigration Service, Federal Road Safety Corps, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, and other safety and security sister agencies. The core values of the fund remain prudence, accountability, 
resourcefulness, and trust. That is part, the only part. While its mission is facilitating safety and security in Lagos State, and its vision is Lagos, the safest, most secure, and most prosperous commercial location in Africa. As we continue to remain accessible to safety and security formations operating in the state, I must say that other, other organizations, including private estates and private institutions, such as schools and colleges, have also been requesting interventions from us, even though they are outside our core mandate of interventions. We see this request as an indication of high security awareness and a willingness to do more to secure themselves, especially as security concerns dominate the media and community discussions across the country, and most importantly, the faith that they have in LSSCF as a prompt and sustainable security interventionist agency. Under the Sohulu administration, the board of the LSSTF built on the successes recorded so far in ensuring the protection of lives, property and businesses for the prosperity of all and to also actualize the vision that will position Lagos to efficiently deploy cutting-edge thinking and technology to prevent crime and criminality in the state. The administration of Governor Babajide Sohulu also embraced community policing. Government engaged members of local communities and neighborhoods in knowledge sharing and intelligence gathering that could help in nipping crimes in the board. The law establishing the Lagos State Neighborhood Watch was reviewed and expanded to accommodate this laudable initiative. Some Lagos residents react to the efforts of Governor Sawulu's administration in ensuring that Lagos is crime free. Doing some good things, you know, um, there's community policing coming up. They're giving ammunition and gadgets to the police officers. Uh, they're also fixing cameras all around. So it's actually a good, it's a good step in the right direction. And hopefully all these things work out so that, um, you know, the people can start feeling safe and they can actually walk out and uh, know that when they go out, whether it be during the day or at night, that uh, they're safe and that people are watching over them. Lagos is more better now for security. Actually, we, we love how the security tight as now. Yeah, they will still want more effort and then to work very hard and then to give us a uh, good security midnight to morning time. Because sometimes people work to morning time in Lagos. In Lagos State, I can confirm it for you that the security, they are doing like 90% in Lagos, confirm. Because everywhere, there are sometimes, as I, I, we are living in Lagos Island now, there are some, sometimes in Lagos Island, we cannot work around 9, 10 p.m. But now, we are going to somewhere or traffic audio or something. I can easily come to Lagos Island at any time because there is police officers everywhere. So we appreciate the governor. Some will look, may God continue to help him. Matter of security in Lagos, the governor Sawolu is our governor. He tried a lot. Especially Lagos State government, they are doing well, doing, doing well in the sense that um, they are installing CCTV in the, in the city now. Uh, they, like all these uh, opening up of police stations and then the training they're giving to them on how to, you know, undo the masses. It is pertinent to note that any government in a metropolitan city like Lagos, which runs on a 20-hour economy, no doubt, must make security a priority to ensure a conducive environment for businesses to thrive in different sectors to be able to achieve the 21st century economic goal. The Oligo State Government, under the leadership of Governor Babadidi Sawolu, has embraced this by making commitments towards protecting the lives and property of presidents, plus ensuring good governance, which is part of dividends of democracy. Negotiations, corporate bodies, and organizations must continue to partner the state government by contributing to the Lagos State Security Trust Fund, a transparent public-private partnership which has supported security agencies in protecting lives and properties and ease of doing business in the state. On this note, we come to the end of today's special report on Team's agenda this week, which focused on the security intervention of the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwolu in line with the Team's agenda of Governor Babajide Sanwolu's administration. For feedback, you can follow us on all our social media platforms. Twitter at Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Also, you can now download our app, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, from Play Store for more traffic updates. This program is a production of Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. I am Abiola Fagbolago. <laughs>